Welcome back to the show. We're going to watch some baggage. This is Kristen. She's got a secret and it's hidden inside this red bag. Is she a phone sex operator? Yes. Does she demand a prenup? No. Or did she lose half a million dollars in Las Vegas? Yes. We'll open up this bag and many, many more coming up on Baggage. Quick, Lee, want to say thanks for tuning in the Baggage. You're going to love this episode as much as I love my Magic Spoon cereal, guilt-free cereal for adults. So good, I eat it a lot. I even have the Magic Spoon. It makes me feel cool when I eat it, and it does not make me feel guilty. That's the best thing about it. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Jake. Keto-friendly, soy-free, gluten-free. Not party-free, though. I bring it to all my parties. You bring it to all your parties. He sprinkles it on people, like the Pope. Like the Pope. Oh. Oh. I have the magic spoon. Cereal. Uh, everyone in the crowd. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, amen. This right. is healthy. Back to the show of the baggage. You're going to enjoy it. Go get your magic spoon. Yeah, get the magic spoon, magicspoon.com slash watching to grab a custom bundle of the cereal. Be sure to use promo code watching at checkout to save $5 off your order. Almost sent him away before I said the whole damn thing. Let's do it. Baggage. Do we usually talk through it the opening? It's so loud. Hour, what usually takes six months of dating to oh, discover? no, Jerry's doing a lot well, of talking again. Baggage, where we help singles find love no matter what secrets and Early dirty ups. laundry lurk in their lives. Right now, let's meet our lucky dater. She's a graphic designer from Chicago. Please welcome Kristen. How's she spell it? What a walk. Oh, oh my like God, her. she's catwalking down there. What do you think? K-R-I-S-T-E-N? Yeah, that's the uh, basic spelling. To the show. So what kind of guy you That was a weird for? cut. Mm, I'm looking for a mm. very funny man who's rugged. Ah, with yeah. Lots of kissing. Oh. And a big nose. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. But. Jerry does have a <laughs> schnozzle. No, huh? It's a weird hook, like a... Po- oh, like a like there's a bonus guys. piece. Yeah, like a toucan. It right takes a... Sh- alley. Like, but if it was a ski slope, you're going down like a grade... Easy. It's like Bunny Hill to Black Diamond. Like a little bit, yeah. yeah just like dives down. Spider bite. I think this is too loud for me. I think I'm gonna turn. Okay, the turn off. down a little bit then. That doesn't affect the post at okay? all. Okay, quit it. Like all of us, so much better. They probably have some baggage. Are you ready to meet them? I am. Okay, let's bring them. A lot on of out. faces this First episode. Day. Well, she likes a guy with big lips. So. This guy's hot. Hi, Kristen. I'm Adam. I'm from Australia. I love oh. snowboarding, wakeboarding, mixed martial arts. A hot Australian guy. My dream. The only thing missing is my dream woman. We got oh, my God. God. She's smitten. She was like, he doesn't have big lips, though. Shaking. Peter. I mean. Hi, Kristen. Uh-oh. I'm Peter. I'm a huge baseball fan. I'm very sensitive. I was very close with my mother, so she taught wow. me how to treat a lady. And if you pick he's me up, like he's got like the Ben Stiller's face kid like, vibe from like all of those Meet things the are me. Sure, baseball sensitive, very close right. to my mom. But I mean, I'm not using you those. Open you wouldn't open with those. Because, you might look at, open with baseball. Look at You're her, probably open with baseball. That's fine, but look at her face. She's, oh yeah. Well, she just saw a hot Australian guy, and then she saw like Ben the, Stiller's rejected cousin. No, it's dude. Have you seen the Fockers movie? Ben oh, Stiller supposed really to. to suppo- I won't give it right away. Now, supposedly hooks up with Ron. the maid. Like that's what the kid looks like. Oh, interesting. Oh. Hey, Kristen. I'm Ron. I am a really loyal guy. My whole life, I only drove one car, rooted for one sports team, and I'm only looking for one girl. If you pick me, I, it's the Yankees? I will make sure you feel like you're the only person in the room. Uh, that's very sweet. That guy's a used yeah. car salesman. Wow. So, Australian guy's going to win. And the middle guy is bullshit. When he was in the green room and he was yeah. looking at those two guys, he was like, what the hell is this? My only worry is this is an early episode, so maybe they're setting up the Australian guy for a, a mid-bag elimination. No way. Like, his second baggage is the worst. There's no way he goes so out first. So, she's like, no. No, That's I the am. one risk. That's the mystery round. Mm. That is the highest chance of him going out. Yes. She'll be pissed, though. Because she she's already it. made a conscious decision. Yeah. And, I mean, imagine if it's him and the monkey guy. What? Like, 
What did that guy, what did the car salesman say on the right? He said something that was... One sports team, one car. Yeah, it, like, to prove his loyalty. Yeah. He's like, I've only ever rooted for one sports team. Yeah. That's such a standard. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's not... I, I would never think, oh, I've only ever rooted for the Yankees. This is a, a point of loyalty in my personality. I mean, maybe he was... He's like, Yankees, and I never will watch basketball or football. I, I, can't, even, the, I can't even risk those sports. I think he's like... It's I, weird. It's like, I never switch... That dude isn't a sports fan. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. He's just not a sports fan at all. That's sure, man. I would have had a few of those he has one dollar. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sure. I'm just kidding. No. So, three great guys, Busting what do you think? Balls. I think they're very attractive. Okay, well, as you can okay. see, guys brought a small, medium, Good and large update. bag, each hiding a personal secret, otherwise known as their baggage. They're very attractive now, and the, the middle guy. The bag, the the baggage. This way, you'll know exactly what you're getting yeah. when you choose nope. one of them to be a date. All right? Yeah. So that's the idea. Of the Different kind of hot. It's time to reveal your smallest baggage. Let's start now with Adam. I own Dude, but he lives on an Australian farm, dogs. and they're farm dogs, and that's obvious. He thinks she's going to go so like, a, I kind of like mind, dogs, why 15? I'm wondering if they're little dogs or big dogs. Well, some are little, some are big, but here's the thing. They're very special dogs. I breed them. They're hypoallergenic, so that people who have kids with allergies and disabled people can have their only dog that they can ever He's have. showing off. Yeah, yeah. That's not baggage. Well... Like, they're not in the house. He's, like, breeding them. Yeah. I can't get a credit card. Obviously. <laughs> but I'm sure there's a reason, right, Peter? Very irresponsible financially when I was younger. <laughs> but I have a good job now. I'm trying to take care of it, getting ahead of things, and I pay for things with cash. So it works. It's such an so uphill the battle. Reason and is not doing well. Look at her face after that one. Cash. Okay. Well, you know, that's not how you repair your credit, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> she hates oh, my this God. This be a great first date, huh? What did, what did he say about repairing okay. credit? Uh, Ron? He was just like, I can't get a credit card, so I just pay with cash. I make women Obviously shower you do. before This sex. adds up. He looks like a kind of guy yeah. that would do that. <laughs> Do you also shower oh my before God. sex? Good question. Kristen, I would never ask a woman to do anything before sex that I wouldn't do. Oh I'm a very God. clean guy. I like to wash my hands often. I like to shower before sex. And I like to have the kind of sex that you want to shower before. <laughs> oh, anal. So here's the good news. Talking about anal sex. Be in the shower so. at the same time. Oh, I don't you'll know. Never, you'll never get out of the shower. Oh, God. God. When we come her her oral, acting sticks. It's our deal breaker round. Well, she likes the Australian. She the hates the middle guy. Yeah. And she's size. the ugliest and he <laughs> ter <laughs> terrible financially. Come on. It's the and game we the play on here. Don't don't oh. play coy now. We've got oh. a lot of episodes. You've said a lot meaner things than I've that. never said a mean thing once on this show. The last guy does give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, yeah. You don't yeah. want... Like, no. he, he's he got... Um, a liar's vibe. Your flaws could be the first step to find a love. major skeleton now, vibe. The break, yes. Learned what was like a lot of his friends don't actually bags. truly know him. We've got no. Adam, the canine collector with 15 dogs, and Peter, the guy caught in a crisis. He said, crunch. I breed course, dogs Ron, that don't shed for disabled people. Mm -hmm. Kristen, it is oh, time baggage. To but I don't get to choose their baggage. Absolute deal breaker. Now, these medium sized bags. I think they're here are building them up. We've never seen this water. wide shot with so all three. We have no idea that much. what guy yeah. goes with what piece Look of baggage. Look how lake spread he is. It's time to reveal Alpha. more yeah. baggage. And then the sensitive guy's sitting with This is early one. still. Like, Jerry hasn't figured out his baggage. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the middle guy. <laughs> <laughs> and we know it. I am just quoting here. <laughs> I have a small penis. If this winds up on YouTube, I'm suing. Okay, so we need to clip that. I have a small penis. Put it under every Jeff Passon post. Yes, just Bag the opening of it as yeah. a gift, responding to people. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, that's really good. How is that baggage? That's baggage for some people. I don't believe in God. She's religious, Bag that's big baggage. Three. Okay, so that's the last guy. Barstool from Big Cat fits all three of these. Yeah. Admittedly I pee in so. my sink. Yeah. But at least this guy doesn't have to be close to the sink. 
<laughs> That's a penis joke. Yeah, it's a small penis joke. Okay, so guy in the right clearly pees in. Ah, uh, Aussie guy oh, can Australian pee in the sink. Australian might pee in the sink. Yeah. You know, I'm right on the back and you know I go what, to pee. Dude, if the Australian guy and, claims um, I have a small penis, I feel he's going to own it so much that we're going to love him for it. Of yeah. If you think what that Australian guy here? says he has on a small penis. He's penis. not. I know he's not, but I'm just saying he could win that over pretty easily if he did. I pee in my sink. That's not the shower guy. That's well, the Australian. I'm of course, wondering why. I think it's the Australian. It is is there an emergency? It's like a band it sink. It's an outside drink. It's a, it's really a bubbler. When Someone's I'm scratch. taking care of the dogs and taking care of in God. my city. Um, That's the guy who thinks well, he is God. Well, a belief on the right. can be enhanced or changed, or I respect his values if if he's um, non-threatening about trying to change my beliefs. Great answer. Yeah. Good answer. Again, quote. Jerry's with you. I have a small penis. <laughs> yes. Um, well, that um, size d does matter. So, um, um, Jerry's pissed. I Not to the smile uh, a little too quick there. A little self-conscious about saying that, but you know that you know that could be a problem. A small Very problem. Jan from the Office vibes. A little bit. <laughs> All right, I now have to ask you, which one is the deal breaker? Whoever claims that baggage. Will have to be eliminated. I hope she doesn't um, go pee in the sink. Jerry, the deal breaker is penis. Yeah, I hope she doesn't feel pressured to not do that, and then she goes pee in the sink. It's penis. I have a small penis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go with your. The heart. other ones weren't really huge baggage. Thirty no. million Americans are beside themselves at this moment. <laughs> Guys, it is time to claim your baggage. It's a good second round. Australian sink, ugly guy, small penis. Yeah, that's what I have. Guy that's in the ugly shirt doesn't believe in God. The easiest, yeah. the easiest oh. layout. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. I guess I can call you Pete. <laughs> Smaller. Pete. It's time to pack your bags and go. Pete for short. Oh, sad. Yeah. It's like a beat of... They hadn't figured out the getaway lead. lines yet. It's a beat of real sadness there. Perfectmatch.com online dating service. So maybe they'll find somebody that can handle their baggage. Okay, so here we go, guys. Two of you remain. Adam, who pees in the sink, and Ron, who doesn't believe in God. Now we're going to find out some more about you. Just let Why don't you rip. guys join me at the hot seat? You didn't stick around to see was that my penis is very small when it's sleeping, but when it's awake, I've never had any complaints. I would have aimed to please, and she's missing out on a really great catch, so... Welcome to the hot shower. Let's well, see so your flaccid penis. Here. Grower, not a shower. And you're, show, and you're, you're being real honest in opening up in front of the country. He called himself a real catch, though. She just meets you, and one of the first things he she finds out about you showing. is that you pee in the sink. Tough matchup for him. You, you've had a rough night out drinking with the boys. You've had a great time. You wake up in the middle of the night with a full bladder. The lights are out. You don't really know where you're going. Do you want to take a chance? And by the way, the ecological point, you do use less water. Straight down the sink, a lot less water. And owning you it. Say Just you owning don't believe it. in God. I don't. But the first thing I want to say, Kristen, you look lovely in that dress. Dude, no one buys oh, your yeah. bullshit. And uh, I. Uh, God made it. Why? I knew you were going to throw that in there. Go ahead. No, you didn't. I would never not date somebody based on their beliefs. I respect everybody's beliefs. When I was 18 years old, I was living in Israel and got drafted into the Israeli army for three years. So I told them, you can draft God. me for three years, but you will not force me to believe in God. And so I still hold true to that. Well, I, I have a still lot of faith people. in my life. Heavy. It's, a, it's a foundation for me, but if you were, I respect your decision, actually, now that I've heard your story. I feel that that's a logical way to handle that kind of situation. Thank you. Tell us something positive about yourself. You're trying to, you, you want her to go out with you. So, we just sell this? Well, Jay, He's well, murdered. Kristen, 
Yeah, he, I, that's, that's, I mean, that's what I was saying before. Like, there's some such, heavy stuff on, it's weighing such on him. A Dear John, Doctor Death vibe. Like, this dude yeah. gives plastic surgery and kills people. No, I think he's killed a lot of people okay. in maybe a village or something, and that's why he has that like oh, painful but it was part of, smile. It was part of war. Yes, he was in okay. the Israeli army. Right. I had him as just a murderer. No, you have him as no. you know, war really. Yeah, that's why him. he's got that painful smile where it's like, no, I. If you believe in God, but he has a he has a very big "I hope you believe me" vibe. You should have been out there that day because they were his orders. <laughs> and I did it as good in person as I am on paper. On paper, I got great numbers. I was a 4.0 valedictorian in college. Oh, fucking case. I have almost as high a credit rating as you could possibly have in this economy. That's something rare. And I scored a 96 out of a 99 on the U.S. Air Force's fighter pilot exam. Who Ooh, cares? That's good numbers. But more importantly in person, I'm an old school gentleman. I don't let women pick up bags. I know that you oh, need to walk with a woman a on the sidewalk between the street and the woman. And I open doors. You'll get bored with a guy who's a gentleman. <laughs> I piss in the sink, really believe baby. I really that guys are always gentlemen anyway, because I wrote the book on all that garbage. Why should she pick you? Not a great angle, but an angle. But, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick me. I'm terrible. So you got your attention. So you'll never be bored with me. That's why. Wow. You will never be bored. You're a smart girl. Fade the well, fade, I'm a really they say. I'm a vicious goal setting person. I started Hey, out we've never seen someone come with this yeah. strategy of attack before. It's the, uh, I mean, he's, w he's winning. Oh, yeah. Did he's you see winning. her bite her tongue? He's hot. He's crazy hot. And the other guy has and that's murdered. And that's kind of the end story of this. If you're oh, hot, life. you can do whatever you uh, want. And if you admit your faults, stuff? if you really nag yourself, people. everything else seems a little if more... If he had Look lost with the small penis baggage, she would have been sad. The other guy lost with the small penis baggage, and she was like, Oh, oh thank okay. God. Thank God, yeah. But, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pick me. <laughs> I'm terrible. Got our attention. So you got your attention. So you'll never be bored with me. That's why. You will never be bored. Just well, laughing. Doesn't even know uh, why. Stop doing these well, she, really she does a lot of face stuff. Person. I started out in my life um, coming from very humble beginnings, working really hard. And I looked around me and all the people that had the toys that I wanted had the money that it took to get those toys and they all owned real estate. So at 19 years old, I worked hard and I bought my first investment property when I was 19, became a landlord. She's so now cry. I've got a half a dozen properties in three different states right here in the US. That's great. Building my empire. Well, here's the deal. Oh. Coming up, he won a we're while going to see ago. what's in Adam's and Ron's big bags. And don't forget Kristen's really? bag. Really? It's kind of cool seeing the development Is of the show. Yeah. Like, does she like just a lot of little up? twists make it a or lot better. A yeah, uh, the hot Vegas. seat, like stand we'll up and answer questions. When we come back. If she lost the like, 500K in Vegas after she picks the Aussie, I could see him turning her down. I think he loves that. No. He loves a gambling woman. No, Jim, you missed all about his financial properties. And you know, yeah, people had what he had. That's not risks. Despite your flaws. Gambling? Well, Chris Who says it was gambling? Will she it just dropped Adam, 500 cans the ground? Think Tinkler with 15 dogs or Ron, the atheist who believes in shower power. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> it's time to reveal your biggest baggage. Let's start with They're you. They're doing what? Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's like surprised by every segment of the show. I expect ah. my girlfriend to cook and clean for me. Hey, that old school gentleman. Mm -mm. I really find that offensive, and um, I don't know my way for a clean Saturday night, day night. That was a really good gift. Um, I have a problem with, with, with that baggage. That's pretty intense. She's got a point. It's kind of Well, if I find really the right girl, Jeff. Say that, no? What I'm saying here is old-fashioned to the point where the connection is stronger because the roles are more defined. The king and the queen type role. I think this is actually a really good trait. Uh, yeah, he kings hasn't... and queens have servants. Oh, okay. <laughs> he hasn't Whoa. denied I anything. I provide these for you, my love. <laughs> oh. He just saved it by saying, I'll get us servants. Ron? But he hasn't denied Showing any of his baggage. Like that I've, didn't age well. I've killed and I'm gay. My longest oh. relationship lasted Same thing. He doesn't think that's weeks. baggage. That's terrifying. <laughs> I, oh, my I, God. I can't imagine that you have a fine life. 
with um, only three weeks of uh, proof time, and it's very concerning how you can't get to know someone in three weeks. Yeah, so you Jeez. want the well, Australian. Right, the she most put important on a show She's there. been trying to act this whole time. I've never the had a girlfriend that I've been in love with. It's a uh, good thing. Clearly, dude. Is, and you don't want to waste a whole relationship with somebody you're not in love with. Well, this you dude thinks that one. you'd fall in love in three weeks? Like he's just like love at first sight or bust? <sighs> Jim, you know what he thinks. He doesn't want anyone to get to know him. Yeah. Because if you know this dude for more than three weeks, you find out about all the people he murdered. It's the uh, the crippling night terrors. Yeah. That breaks the three weeks. He hasn't barrier. slept in five years. As long as you can shower quickly. <laughs> Since that night in Kuwait. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, not in his house. <laughs> Ooh, that was Jerry. quick. That was quick. That was quick. Jerry patted himself. Jerry. And now it's time for your, your final plea. Why should Kristen choose you, Adam? Kristen, in the three weeks that it takes for you and Ron to actually break up, <laughs> your head will still be spinning with the experience with me. We won't even have landed on the ground yet. We'll be flying around having an incredible time. And as I said earlier, you're a smart woman and you need to be challenged by someone who can keep you on your toes. He's just and crushing it. Even though this guy Yeah, a little bit. Paper, I mean, technically I walking all over himself because like a woman that, that needs to be challenged and he's saying, but I need you Ron? in the kitchen cooking me. Oh, yeah. He's, you know, he's, you, you, you need someone that's going to be a dish to you. But don't pick me. I don't me. want you to be thrown off by the three weeks. I am really, really good at getting to know somebody. I'm very trusting and trustworthy. Fire. I open up Fire. more easily than most guys you'll ever meet. Incredible. And life. I want a woman to open up to me as well. Then why didn't I you open up about the murder? I want her to know if she's in love with me. So it's not about the time. It's three weeks? It's what are you, the quality. job? One car. Cliche. One team. Kristen, it's time to choose. One murder. Will it be Adam who has 15 dogs, peas in the sink? and expects his woman to cook and clean? Or will it be Ron, who makes his women shower before sex, doesn't believe in God, and whose <laughs> Am I a goof relationship or what? lasted yeah. three weeks? Kristen, it's time to send one of these guys packing. What will you do? Oh, they're going to do the walk-up yeah. thing? Fuck, this is the early up. So it's like the early episode, but they did make some changes. But Jake, what, what would you bet right now that she... Chooses Ozzy. Ninety nine percent. Would you put a thousand of your own dollars right now? Imagine if this show just turned into we you made and it a gambling like you show. You and I just gambling thousands against. I each mean, other. no, not a thousand dollars because it's baggage. And yes, like last episode we got swindled. Absolutely. Okay. You would have got swindled. I saw it. You didn't see it coming. So awkward. You get to see them in the same shot, though. Like, maybe she wants to do a true height test. This is so awkward. Sorry, yeah. you have too much baggage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Whoa. I'm sorry, Ron, <laughs> but you're going to have to pack up and <laughs> Just go. completely broken. Did she figure me out? <laughs> he just does a sad Whoa. puppy dog turn. Look. I'm sorry, broken. Ron, but you're going to have broken. to pack up and go. Broken. Okay, and Jerry, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. of course he picks her up and twirls her. Don't get too happy too quickly. We still have one more bag to open, and that's Kristen's. Will Adam be able to handle her? Are they holding hands. Oh yeah. The secret she's been wow. hiding in that big red bag. I think production thought this was the better route to go. Like, hey. Do a big or hug and then hold hands. Yeah. So everyone thinks you're in love, and we'll then if you when reject it, it's like a bigger. Right. How could they go from that to that? Yes, yes. I think because both couples did it. They're uh, having sex. For sure. It, maybe they did beforehand. Whether could, yes or no. Yeah. Welcome back to Baggage, where sharing your shortcomings could lead to a long relationship. You see, our dater, Kristen, has just chosen Adam here for a romantic date. But Business Adam owner. hasn't chosen Kristen yet because job title. he doesn't know the secret inside yeah, her bag. Is Kristen dogs. a phone that. sex operator? And the dogs. He's got or a lot does of she demand a prenup? Or did she lose half a million dollars I in think Las it's Vegas? Phone or prenup? Adam, or pro of phone or Vegas? Possibilities, what is the biggest baggage for you? Prenup. Weighing everything up and keeping it in perspective. I'd say it has to be the prenup. 
that would be the biggest issue for you. Yeah. Because... because well, first of all, if she lost a half a million in Vegas, it means she had a half a million to lose, which means she may have another half a million somewhere. Good. So that's all right. Good thinking. All right. So to be serious, the prenup thing, yeah. it means so that serious. she doesn't have a vision that's and a faith a in the future. Kristen? Jerry, I'm bossing you, boo. Show us your bag. British. Show us your bag. Oh, oh God. I demand a prenuptial. Mm-hmm. You said that was a big problem for you. That was because it, it shows a lack of belief in that future. I'm about to come into a lot of money. I'm very blessed and lucky, Flux. but I think that uh, it's important that I am loved for who I am and not for I mean, they both the family's money. They basically both said we're both wealthy, Adam, we're both hot. He would demand a prenup too. It's time for your decision. Well, um, Based on the uh, substantial baggage that I put you through earlier on, <laughs> and I commend you for handling all of that so well, I accept your baggage. <laughs> yeah! Make out! We've got a great day. Bang on you stage. Guys, and just think, you'll have so much to talk about. Be sure to bring your pen. You're going to do a lot of signing. I can yeah. tell you that. <laughs> Remember, we all have baggage. The question is, how much can you handle for a chance at love? We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> do they do an end thing yet? Do they have that? I don't Cherry. know. I don't care if you pee in the sink as long as you clean it up. Oh, no, 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 that's your job, remember? <laughs> Come here. Come here. I mean, Come here. I've been married for four Wait years. Wait till my penis is in ya. Then what? You won't care about the sink pee. Mm. Then you do. You do. It's a relationship that goes on. That was the easiest... The sex slows to, down. ...to guess immediately. Like, chalk just won out every as we went. Yeah, it feels like... Again, I think we're still in some very early episodes of Baggage, and we already saw some twists. I think this was the, like, let's see if it makes sense, and it's good. Hot girl, hot guy. I like that he... Small penis uggo, out. He didn't deny any of his baggage. Weird murderer, out. And he played the card of, like, you shouldn't pick me. Yeah, that was a flex. It was a hot guy flex. Thanks, guys. See you later.